Clients manufacture teddy bears and similar toys. We claim that due to the negligence of the defendants, a large number of these teddy bears have been going blind, and some have been losing eyes entirely. Very distressing condition. I'm sure we all agree. Going blind, Miss Craddock? Teddy bears? <laughs> it seems so, my lord, to a child that happened to own one. Yes. I appear in this case for the plaintiffs trading as Fortescue Furries Limited. My learned friend, Mr. Sharp, appears for the defendants, Williams Washers Limited. Mr. Sharp. Do you accept this proposition that the teddy bears are going blind? Yes, my lud. That is not in contention. I swear by almighty God that the evidence I give to the court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Mr. Fortescue, you are managing director of Fortescue Furries Limited. I am. Will you describe the effect that this unfortunate phenomenon has had on your trade? It's been a disaster. We've had them return from all over the world. With complaints from customers? I should say so. Who wants a blind teddy bear? Unless we sell them wearing sunglasses, eh? <laughs> yes, well, the retail outlets are up in arms about it. They get the stick before we do. We've had to withdraw whole batches. Home markets, exports, the lot. Just when our Christmas trade was beginning to build up to, I tell you we've lost a packet over this and I shan't be satisfied so, until we... Mr. Fortescue. Uh, details appear in the statement of claim, my lord. <clears throat> when did these defects begin to occur in your products? Around uh, July last year. Will you explain to the court what the eyes consist of and how they are fitted to the toys? Uh, you can see the samples over there. Exhibit D, my lord. But you can see better on diagram. The eye is a polystyrene injection molding with a rounded front and a shaft at the back. The material is brown by tradition. A spot of black paint is put on the base of the shaft to form a pupil when you look at it from the front. It's attached to the toy by pushing the shaft through the fabric and also through this retaining washer. Please describe the washer in more detail. It's got prongs that stick out in the middle. The eye shaft is forced past the prongs so that they're bent outwards. From then on, they grip the shaft. To prevent the eye from falling out again? Yes, my lord. Who supply you with these washers? Uh, Williams Washers Limited. And what happened in January of last year? They changed the washers. That's what happened. Did you know they were different? No, I didn't. The new ones were the same colour and the same shape. It was only a few weeks ago that we found out that they're the cause of all the trouble and the expense. I and object, my lud. Yes, quite so. Miss Craddock, your witness should not attempt to prejudge the case. As your lordship pleases. Uh, do confine yourself to answering the questions, Mr Fortescue. Did you ever have any trouble with the old washers? No. You look at that Ted on right. Exhibit A, my lord. Ten years old is that, and the eyes are as good as new. How often have defects occurred since the new washers were supplied? Oh, ninety percent of them have gone wrong in the Ted's, one eye or t'other or both, getting glazed or falling out. Thank you, Mr. Fortescue. You say you are unaware that the washers have been changed. Do you make no quality control checks on your supplies? We check the dimensions, all right. No metallurgical tests on the material itself? No, why should we? Our specification, agreed by your people, is that the washers should be suitable for the job, and if they're not suitable... Thank you, Mr. Fortescue. Uh, no more questions, my lad. Tell me, Mr. Fortescue, in what way exactly are your teddy bears uh, suffering? Well, first the eyes become glazed. Uh, exhibit B, my lord. What you might call cataracts or uh, glaucoma. Glaucoma. Uh, then they start dropping out. I uh, intend to call an expert witness to explain precisely what is happening. I shall be most grateful, Miss Craddock. And after that, Dr. Daniels, you joined the faculty of East Sussex University where you have continued your research into industrial materials. 
and for six weeks you conducted tests on samples of my clients' products manufactured both before and after January of last year. That is correct. Will you explain to the court what, in your opinion, causes the appearance of blindness and the subsequent loss of the eyes? It's due to the phenomenon of environmental stress cracking. Could you put that a, a little more simply? Cracks have grown across the shafts of the eyes. Polystyrene is normally a glassy, transparent, polymeric material which gives the eyes a clear look. But when it has a crack in it, the light is reflected from the crack, giving the eyes a glazed look, like glaucoma. Ah, cracks in the material. And when a crack has spread far enough across the shaft, it fractures and the front part of the eye drops out. Where exactly do these cracks appear? They originate at the point of contact with the prongs of the washers. So, what in your opinion is the cause of the cracking? In my opinion, it's caused by the stress imposed on the polymer by the washers. But we understand that it didn't happen with the old washers, only with the new ones. What is the difference? The earlier washers were made of bronze. I noticed that the new ones, although they were still bronze in colour, were magnetic. This indicated that instead of being solid bronze, they were plated steel. And what is the effect of this? Much greater stress. Those arms, the prongs which protrude into the centre of the washer, can be regarded as mini cantilever beams. Now, when such a beam is elastically deflected from its position of rest by the fixed amount needed, the force developed depends on E and I, the Young's modulus of the material, and the second moment of area of the beam section, which depends only on the uh, dimensions and the way in which the beam is bent. Your witness is just blinding us with science, Miss Craddock. May we take it, Dr. Daniels, that the force you refer to is caused by the prongs pressing against the shaft when they are pushed through the washer? Yes, exactly. The stress is directly proportional to the Young's modulus, and the modulus of steel is approximately twice that of copper-based alloys. Are you telling us, Dr. Daniels, that a steel washer can apply twice as much force as a copper alloyed one? Yes, my lord. And Thank you. finally, what will be the result of this additional stress? It will increase the likelihood of environmental stress cracking to a level such that the combination of high stress and normal environmental conditions will cause the eye fractures. Thank you. Uh, just a moment. Uh, the previous witness told us that the defects began to appear last July, but it seems that the new washers were supplied from January. Yes, my lord. It would take about six months under stress before the cracks began to show. I see. You may begin your cross-examination after lunch, Mr. Sharp. The court will adjourn until two o'clock. Mm -hmm.